Do you have cool, boring tail lights? Do you want to make a kit for your car, but a Wimstack doesn't offer it? Today, I show you how to make a DIY kit. Let's go. You can make a cool DIY kit for yourself. You can do stuff like this. Wow, look at that. But Adam, how do you make the panels? That's what I'm gonna show you today because my website already has every other step. If you need to open the tail lights, I already know how to open the tail lights. If you know how to wire it, that's on my website too. So, today, I'll show you how to make panels. This is an MR2 tail light. We're gonna open it. Now, we wanna make our kit. In this particular case, I wanna make two panels. I'm going to make a panel for this and a panel for this. I could do it in the fancy way and 3D scan it, which I guess I can show you. But if you don't have a $30,000 scanner laying around, I'm going to show you real cat. Cardboard aided design. So, uh, Asian squad. What I'm going to do is Using paper or cardstock, I'm going to take this panel here and I'm going to kind of outline it like that. Do that. So now I have a nice shape. Once it's cut out, you can test fit it. Make sure we're happy. So this is why I prefer to use cardboard because for cardboard, it holds its shape a little better. So, um, for now, this is the base. We'll go ahead and do this for the same thing. So, Hugo and I, we go and trace this on some cardboard. So now that we have the scans in, we're going to go ahead and trace them with a CAD program of your choice. In this case, my CAD program is Adobe Illustrator. So we have our parts here and zoom, bing, bang, bong, boom, I have my trace. So this is obviously being cleaned up, but we have our trace. For the LEDs, we did a very simple grid pattern. And just to give you an idea, if you want to see how we like do things like follow body lines, I'll take the offset and I will offset path. See that? And I can preview and you can see that I can put an offset path along the line. Press enter. Okay. And now if I wanted to put an LED on this line, ellipse tool, right in the middle, like that. And I can pattern it along that line in Illustrator. But this is an advanced feature. So if you're interested in learning how to do that, make sure you leave a like and comment and subscribe. But now that we have this, I'm gonna go ahead and send it to our laser cutters. The laser cutters we have are Full spectrum lasers, 24 by 16s. These are very good lasers. They've been workhorses. They've been with us for seven, eight, seven to eight years now. So we're gonna load eighth inch acrylic. So Carl, our technician here, can you please load in acrylic and show them how to do it? And while, while he's doing that, I'm preheating our oven to 280 degrees Fahrenheit. How do we bend these panels to match the curve, you might ask? With an oven. All right, so we have the panel. We're gonna throw it in the oven at 270 degrees for 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. So, how do we bend it? How do we get the curve? 
We like to use the lens as our base, right? So as soon as these lenses or these panels get floppy, we like to use this surface to get our basic shape. So you're always gonna remember, um, these panels have a little bit of elastic, uh, elastic memory, so you have to over bend a little bit, right? So you may need to want to use the inside if you can, otherwise the outside will work. The problem is the outside doesn't bend as well, right? So in this particular case, I have these 3D printed clear lenses for the MR2 that we use as molds because they've yellowed a little bit from testing. But as soon as that panel is ready, I'm going to bend it and hold it. Okay, so now that it's cooled off a little bit, you can kind of see, I now have the curve of the light. But I will add that it seems like it didn't bend enough, right? So if it doesn't bend enough, no problem it's probably best to throw it back in the oven and give it another go. So I'll throw it back in the oven. While we do that, let's check the other ones. This one's a lot better, you can see. So this one's good. Let's try the side panels. This one needs to be rebent. So back in the oven. And this one needs to be rebent. So back in the oven. So when it's molded, it's all floppy. I'm gonna take this. Get my microfiber. And hold it. And then as I feel like it's cooling down, I can go like this to kind of form it the way I want. Like that. Same thing for the bottom. So yeah, this panel, you're supposed to cut this for testing, but for this, so this looks good because you do want this to sit a little bit behind the uh, tail light. But yeah, so that's good. It's gonna sit a little further, which is why you see that little bit of gap. And now let's get the big one in. So you can see here, floppy. One in here. But I also want to overbend it a little bit. So I'm gonna do this. And then like this, I'm gonna hold it. And actually the thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this to the tail light. So let's go. 